Heather from Tiller. In part two of our Getting Started with Tiller video series, I'll show you how to create a Tiller powered spreadsheet, how to choose a template, how to install the Tiller Money Feeds add-on, and show you how your transactions look when they're imported into your spreadsheet. Let's get started. All right, so now that we've got the financial accounts connected, we're going to get set up in the first spreadsheet here. So you can connect up to five spreadsheets in Tiller. You can mix and match Google Sheets, Microsoft Excel, and the same subscription. You don't have to have a separate subscription under a different email address to use Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets or vice versa. So up to five spreadsheets. This is really handy if you need to share a spreadsheet with your spouse or your business partner, or perhaps you're managing your elderly parents' finances, something like that, you get some options there to, for creating multiple sheets and you can mix and match the accounts that are connected to those particular spreadsheets. So in this demo, I'm gonna focus on the Google Sheets install and workflow for getting set up with the spreadsheet, but Microsoft Excel is very similar, pretty much the same steps. So to get started, we'll choose the start with Google Sheets option there under create a spreadsheet. And then we're going to go ahead and install the Tiller Money Feeds add-on by clicking the link here at the top of the install help template. This is going to open the Google Workspace Marketplace where we can go ahead and install Tiller Money Feeds for Google Sheets. We're going to choose that Google account that we used to sign up for Tiller in the beginning. Oftentimes you might have multiple Google accounts signed in. That's totally okay. Just make sure you choose the one you used to subscribe to Tiller. We're just going to follow the prompts here to continue through and make sure that the add-on has access to that Google account that you use to subscribe to Tiller. And then we'll click done here and we can go ahead and close this browser tab. Now we're gonna choose the use template button here at the top of the template spreadsheet. The install help sheet is really handy because it kind of gives you all these steps that I'm demoing. So you can go back and reference those steps as you're getting set up with the template to get the add-on installed, to make a copy of that template in the Google Drive that is associated with that Tiller subscription. Once we've got that foundation template copy created, I recommend going ahead and naming the sheet. Make it a, you know, give it a unique name, whatever's gonna make sense for you, however you wanna customize it based on what you're trying to do with this particular sheet. So I'll just say Heather's Tiller sheet here in the top, go ahead and rename it. And then I'm gonna pick up here with step three at the top of this sheet, I'm gonna choose the extensions menu and I'm gonna choose Tiller Money Feeds and choose to launch there. And that's gonna launch the Tiller Money Feeds add-on. Here in the sidebar, it's gonna prompt me to sign in. So I'll just click that sign in button and then choose continue with Google because that's what I use to subscribe to Tiller in this case. Same email account here. And then it's signing me into Tiller distinct from signing me into Google, for example. So go ahead and close this tab and then I'll choose the get started button here in the sidebar. And it's going to get things set up for me. I can go ahead and link this sheet. This is what's going to make the connection between those accounts that I connected to Tiller and this particular spreadsheet. So I'll click link sheet. And now I get to choose which accounts I would like to feed data into this particular spreadsheet. So I don't have to link all of these accounts to the spreadsheet. I can mix and match, as I mentioned, if I just have a certain purpose for this sheet, I can only link those accounts. In this case, it's just gonna be my personal finances. So I'm just gonna link the checking account and the MasterCard there because those are where my main spending comes from. The savings account, I don't care too much, so I don't have to link it. So I'll choose confirm here, and then it's gonna start filling the data into the spreadsheet. So when we connect to those accounts, it brought all that data into Tiller's databases, making it available to be filled into this particular spreadsheet. And now we're at that step of actually filling the transaction and balance data into the spreadsheet. So as I mentioned in the first video, we can usually pull in anywhere from 30 to 90 days worth of transaction data. That's gonna vary by institution. We see that that update completed, they've been filled. We got in 138 transactions, two balances filled. As I mentioned in that first video, it's the balances as of today, as of the day that I'm connecting that particular account. That transaction data is going to be here in the transaction sheet. Once again, 30 to 90 days worth of transactions varying by institution. If you connect more accounts to Tiller, you're going to get even more data pulled in across all your financial institutions. It's a 
great way to get everything in one place, see all your data in the same format. It makes managing your money in a spreadsheet really easy. So what's next? We can see here that there's some options over in the sidebar, and I'm gonna go over some of those in more depth in future videos, but to give you a quick rundown, you have some options for creating an AutoCAD sheet, which is gonna be a whole nother video that's gonna be ex an exciting way to customize your categories and customize those rules. You can split transactions if they fall across multiple categories, like a lot of times if you're shopping at Amazon or you know, box stores like Costco, it might fall across different categories. And the split tool is a great way to split those transactions into their appropriate categories. You can also manually add transactions if you need to, like if you wanna record a pending transaction, that's one way you can do it. You can add manual accounts. So if there's some account that we can't automate or you know, account that is like real estate, for example, that's a great way to go ahead and reflect uh, those assets in your balances sheet, which we'll talk about in a future video as well. And then of course, all the tiller templates that you get access to uh, that you can add on to your foundation template. So this video has been very focused on Google Sheets. A lot of the same features that are available in the Google Sheets add-on are also available in the Microsoft Excel add-on. So in our next video, we will talk about how to customize your categories and set up your auto categorization rules to make it super easy to stay on top of categorizing your transactions and keeping your finances organized.